Sam the Wrecker Man had its iconic flagship store located on Young Street until it closed in 2007. Stacy Decker, standing in front of our shop drawings at Sunset Neon, is the grand niece of Sam Snyderman. She plays a very active part in keeping the name Sam the Wrecker Man alive. Sunset Neon was commissioned by Ryerson University to take the old sign out of storage and refurbish and reinstall on top of a building in downtown Toronto. The backer panel had to be redesigned to a louver style due to the new location being on top of a building rather than its original design mounted to a wall. The signs were in very rough shape. They needed a lot of TLC. Grinding out the rust, rebuilding the structure, priming, painting, cosmetic repair. Len Black is our in-house neon tube bender. The majority of the white flashing neon had to be created from scratch as well as a spare set to keep in storage on the roof for future repair work. Stacy visited Sunset Neon throughout the process. Tony Bianchi, the project manager, is showing her some of the original neon that will be used in the refurbished version. This particular square section was only one eighth of the completed size. Our 50,000 square foot shop with a new 40 foot long spray booth was utilized to capacity when you included all our regular clients' ongoing work and the SAM project. We had to set up scaffolding to reach all that needed to be painted. Though Tony Bianchi had already worked with the city for over a year before any production even started, between procurement, design, engineering, then more time getting the city engineers to agree with the private engineers, things are finally starting to come together. The sockets are being assembled with the new technology LED bulbs versus the old incandescent. The letters are now all refurbished painted, and the neon is about to be installed on the now completed backer panels. The SAM letters had to be wired to a flasher to give the bulbs a sequence to make it look like glitter. Tony Bianchi found out from the nameplate of the old flasher in the storage unit who originally made it and contacted him to rebuild it to its original state. These paint cans look like nothing important at a first glance. However, they are to replicate the spindle hole in the center of the sign. These are the original paint cans used in the original display. Underneath the flashing record displays was a large box sign that had Sam the Record Man. These are new boxes as the original steel boxes deteriorated to the point that fixing them made no sense. The new boxes are illuminated with LED. Here is Stacy and Tony standing next to the face that goes on the box we just saw being built. With rapid changes in our industry, manufacturing equipment and materials are being displaced all the time. Ryerson and the City of Toronto purchased lots of extras to make sure they had the right stock for future repairs. With all custom signs, you have a testing component before you send it off to be installed. Here we are moving stuff around, setting the letters and backer panel together to make sure it's all working. Friends and business acquaintances wanted a selfie with the famous sign. What is the large project without a photo op of our proud staff members. Time to load the truck and start the installation process of the extravagant Sam the Record Man sign. Ironically, the sign was installed right across from City TV. They contacted Tony Bianchi to come on the breakfast television show to discuss the background of the famous sign to their viewers. As the owner of the company that completed this, I'm very proud of all our staff and a special thanks to Tony Bianchi for doing a wonderful job of handling the procurement process and the project management. <laughs>